Let's talk about Staff Aureus. Now, it's one of the biggest culprits for why the flares happen because as your flares increase, Staph Aureus also increases as well. Our goal is to help reduce the staph overgrowth and a lot of times our clients have staph infections. This can look like a lot of red dots on the skin, blisters, yellow crusts, oozing. It's important to be able to identify it so that we can actually nip it in the bud and help to reduce it as well. One thing about one of the approaches from Dr. Aaron, where he uses a mixture of steroid, antibiotic cream, and regular cream as well, and it's compounded into a mixture, I really find that to be more effective than just steroids alone. And I really love how he gets this theory right. I once interviewed him and the theory that he has really gotten right is that it kills the staph aureus overgrowth. And because of that, it really helps to keep the infection down. It helps to strengthen the skin barrier as well. I think that it's important that we take that concept and we're able to translate that into what we're doing with our skin in everyday life as well. That's why it is important to pay attention to Staph Aureus and what it does to the skin. I really love that different approaches that you can use, whether it is using vinegar sprays, or even some clients prefer the faster route, which is using conventional methods, and they will use things like antibiotic creams or mupirocin or fecidin, which you can request from your doctor. But um, those are a few conventional ways. But aside from that, there's also a few natural ways as well. For example, there's vinegar sprays, which I've also shared before in a longer video. You can check that out. But vinegar sprays are very helpful and we found that to be more effective than apple cider vinegar sprays. The vinegar, a plain vinegar seems to be better tolerated as well. But also there's things like colloidal silver sprays and also hypochlorous acid, which is a really popular one. That's essentially made from the electrolysis of salt and water, and that can help with just killing the bacteria. And one of the owners of the brands that I've used, which is Active Skin Repair, actually said that it's used in surgery settings. It can even be, be used as a disinfectant. It can be safely used around the uh, face as well which I really love and I have found that it doesn't sting at all. That Those are some things that you can check out, but the important thing is to help reduce the staph aureus. You can even take baths and add the vinegar in. That can be really helpful too. But those are just a few of the ones that I wanted to touch upon, a few of the both conventional and natural ways as well that you can actually help to kill the bacteria on the skin and reduce the overgrowth of staph aureus. I have personally found that when I use those ways, both for myself and my son, our skin has gone a lot better. The flares don't seem to come back in the same way. I really hope that that encourages you and helps you on your journey as well. Thank you for watching and if you'd like more support on how you can help your skin get better, you can book a complimentary breakthrough call with one of the eczema advisors on my team and we would love to help support you and support your skin and let you know the different ways that we work with our clients as well. I hope this helps you and I hope you have a great day.